Hello, Luke Wallace Mustangs. Welcome to another virtual art lesson on Mr. L's couch. So what I'm going to do today, um, I want to show you another surrealist game. And it's something that you're probably already familiar with, but it's, you know, making a collage or it's also called a photo montage. Same thing. It's just a collection of images. Now you're thinking, yeah, Mr. L, I've made collages all the time throughout school and I get it. Yeah, I know. Um, making a collage is pretty common. However, I want to give you a couple tips to make a really good, you know, collage that could be really interesting to look at. So, again, we talked about Salvador Dali and surrealism, and I think he shows like the best example of surrealism. There's a student surrealist art ex exhibit on the Dali Dart dot org. The Dali dot org is what I sent you to earlier this week. Keep looking at this website. It's got tons of stuff on there. I think it's really cool. So I want to show you something really quick. So when you're making a collage, you should have magazines around the house, newspapers, anything with pictures works the best. So, you know, anything. Um, newspapers, old magazines are the best. And I mean, you can usually find old magazines somewhere. I mean, somewhere. Um, anywho, and when you're looking in your magazines, don't just rip out or cut out people or things that you can actually recognize. Try to cut out objects, like little objects. So for example, I found like a pile of money, okay, that was in there and I thought it was funny. Or even like on the back of it, there's a bagel, which I'm not gonna use the bagel, but I wanted to use the pile of money. So I'm like, that's pretty funny. So when you're cutting out your objects for your collage, Try to cut out as neatly as possible. That's my tip. If you cut sloppily or you just kind of tear it out, yeah, okay, it's going to look sloppy. But if you try to cut close to the edges the best that you can, now I get it. It's really hard to get perfect with a pair of scissors. It's hard for me to get perfect. But if you get close, it looks pretty good. And if you cut close to the edges, you're the object that you use, you can arrange it on a piece of paper and that could be your new collage or surrealist collage, okay? So we're making surrealism. It's like dream work, dreamlike artwork, I mean. So it's not normal looking. It's not realistic looking. It's kind of bizarre. So I got my pile of money, okay? So I cut it out as close as I could. It's not perfect. So here's my little collage that I got started cut out as close as I could to the objects, you know, so I cut out like a hand, a little robot head, and I put that together to make some weird looking form, and you know, I made like this weird looking face over here, and now my pile of money, I don't know really where I'm going to put it at, but it would still really look interesting, and I mean, you could use glue stick or tape, I'm using tape today, and I think the best thing to do is to maybe you know, the cool thing about tape is I can always rearrange these things, too, after I put them on there. Arrange your images on your page first before you start gluing. Kind of see what it's going to look like. You know, and I kind of already did this before I started showing this. So I have my pile of money, and my plan with that was I was going to stick it on here where this little juice box has this straw. It's kind of just coming out of the straw. So I thought it was pretty cool. And, I mean, it doesn't have to make sense, you know, like – it's still a really interesting image to look at because I've got like a little computer screen, somebody's lips that I cut out, a little juice box, an eyeball, pile of money, and my little robot head and a hand. And I mean, you can put things together like that and it still looks really, really, really cool. And even if I want to rearrange it, I can because I didn't glue it down. I use tape just so I can show you, but rearrange it and come up with different ideas of how you can arrange and put these things together and you can make some really cool images. You may even really want to just start cutting things out or finding objects in your magazines or pictures that you have lying around and start cutting things out as neatly as you possibly can and making like a little collection. And then when you've got a big pile of images, then you can start arranging them on a piece of paper to make some really crazy narrative or some really surrealist, uh, you know, art project. And I mean, pretty self-explanatory. You guys made collages before. The only thing I'm saying to do differently is to cut as close as you can the lines of the objects that you're cutting out and I know that's tedious that's hard it takes practice but give it a shot and you can maybe come out with some pretty cool things I mean some people make some really cool photo montages after they collect a bunch of images so 
give it a shot. I think it's pretty fun. I had fun doing this just for a few minutes. And now I'm thinking about just cutting a bunch of stuff out of magazines and making my own little pile. So one day I can kind of just get them all out and make a new piece of art, you know? Anyway, give it a shot. It's pretty fun. Enjoy it. Look at the dolly.org again. Keep looking at that website. It's really fun. Enjoy that project, guys. I think I had a lot of fun making it. So give it a shot. See you all next time.